Uh, let's start with geometric progression, GP. Now look at the following series. 1, 2, 4, 8. You can predict the next one, which is 16, and the next one after that, that is 32. The reason why you were able to predict the next term, and you will be able to predict the other term, and the other term, and so on, is each term is obtained from its previous term by multiplying the previous term by 2. 1 into 2 gives you 2, 2 into 2 gives you 4, and so on. So this multiplication factor in the first series is 2. Look at the next series. 1, minus 3, 9. Next one is minus 27. And the next one is 81. What is the multiplication factor? The multiplication factor in the second series is negative 3. 1 into negative 3 is negative 3, negative 3 into negative 3 is 9, and so on. Now, based upon these two simple series, any series which is obtained in such a way that the next term is obtained from the previous term by multiplication by a constant value, a common value, a common ratio, such a series is called a geometric progression. Now, some observation about this one. A stands for the first term, R stands for the common ratio, if the common ratio is the same thing as multiplication factor. If the first term is positive, common ratio is positive, that means this all the terms in the series are positive. Similarly, if the first term is positive, common ratio is negative, then the sign alternates or you can say the series consists of positive and negative terms. Now look at the third series. What is the multiplication factor? Minus 4. Now, if minus 4 is the multiplication factor and the first term is negative, again, because of that ne negative multiplication factor, the sign alternates, the series consists of positive and negative terms. The last series on this page, negative 5, negative 25, negative 125, negative 625. Now, what do you think is the multiplication factor? By looking at the first three series, you might have observed that if the second term in the series is the numerator, first term in the series is in the denominator, so second divided by first gives you the common ratio. For example, in the first series, 32 over 16 is 2. In the second series, 81 over minus 27 is minus 3. Now, this rule is not just applicable to the second and the first series. Any series higher up in the term divided by a series before it, if that gives you a constant value, such a series progression sequence is a geometric progression. Now, in the very last series, negative 25 over negative 5, that is plus 5. Therefore, in the very last series, the first term is negative common ratio is positive. That means all the terms in this series are positive. We can even simplify it further. We can say that if the common ratio is positive, whatever is the sign of the first term, that remains throughout. Look at the first series. First term is positive. Common ratio is positive. All terms are positive. Look at the last series. First term is negative. Common ratio is positive, therefore all terms are negative. The second observation is that if the common ratio is negative, irrespective of whether the first term is positive or negative, the sign alternates. The series consists of positive and negative terms. Now, one more thing to observe is that the multiplication factors that we have chosen on the first page on these four series is such that they are integers 2 minus 3 minus 4 plus 5, they are making the numbers increase in size. The numbers are swelling up. Now look on the next page. Look at this first series. 2, 1, half, 1 fourth. Next one would be 1 over 8. What is the multiplication factor? Well, you can think of it in two ways. You can say that each new term is obtained from the previous term by dividing by 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1, 1 divided by 2 is half. But since we are dealing with geometric progression, we would stick to the terminology, we would stick to the concept of multiplication. Whether that multiplication is by an integer 
or whether that multiplication is by a fraction, whether that fraction lies between minus 1 and 1. As in this case, the multiplication factor is half. Similarly, 3 minus 1, 1 third, and minus 1 over 9. Again, the sign change changes. So now you have the feeling that the common ratio is negative. The same observation that we have observed on the first page in all the four series, that remains throughout. But what is different in, this, in these four series, the fourth one is coming up. In these four series is that since the common ratio is a fraction, a fraction which lies between minus 1 and 1, so instead of the numbers increasing in size, instead of the numbers swelling up, they are diminishing, they are decreasing in size. Therefore, we can say that whenever the common ratio is a fraction between minus 1 and 1, the numbers would decrease in size. What is the alternative of this? If the common ratio is such, it's a number greater than 1, or a number lesser than minus 1, then the common, then the terms will increase in size.